In today's video, we will discuss about top 10 Linux distros. If you are going to be a first time Linux user, you must be wondering which distribution of Linux should be chosen for your machine. Actually, you are on the right spot because this video will gonna help you in picking the Linux distro best for you. So let's get started. Before getting started, let's get into some necessary details about Linux distros that you should know. As I don't wanna confuse the beginners who are currently getting started with Linux, I will keep things simple. So majorly there are around 600 plus Linux distributions in which we are going to cover two popular types of Linux distributions. One is Debian based and other one is red hat based however the word distro that i am using again and again stands for distribution firstly let's start with the debian based distros you will always find debian in the list of most stable linux distribution it is one of the oldest distribution out there with open source at its core Debian is an example of a successful community project. So let's get onto the point and explore some really really great Debian based Linux distros. Number 1 Ubuntu For users who are unfamiliar with Linux but want to learn, Ubuntu is the closest to Windows and user friendly you can get. Ubuntu is one of the babies of the Linux family. It's not that old, but its popularity has grown. Ubuntu has a very Windows-like interface, so it is the most popular for its ease of use for Windows users who want to migrate to a Linux platform. If you want to install Ubuntu, then you must have at least 1 GHz of CPU power 1 GB of RAM and 2.5 GB of disk space where the Ubuntu will be installed. Number 2 Deepin Deepin is a Linux distribution committed to provide an elegant, user-friendly, safe and stable operating system for users all over the world. Deepin has a long-standing reputation for attention to visual details that is more reminiscent of Mac OS than Windows. Like elementary OS, Deepin is visually stunning right out of the box without any customization. If you want to install Deepin, then you must have at least 1 GHz of CPU power, 512 MB of RAM, and 10 GB of disk space where the Deepin will be installed. Number 3 Linux Mint Linux Mint is an operating system for desktop and laptop computers. It is designed to work out of the box and comes fully equipped with the apps most people need. Mint has one of the coolest interfaces for customizing a desktop. Mint's graphics and desktop reminds most all Linux users of the classic Genome interface. Mint is the alternative of Ubuntu. If you want to install Linux Mint, then you must have at least 64 bit of CPU single core with 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space. Number 4 Kali Linux Maintained and funded by Offensive Security, Kali Linux is a Debian derivative that is designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. It comes pre-built with multiple tools used in penetration testing such as Metasploit, Framework, Nmap, Wireshark, Multigo, Ethercap, Burp Suit, and so many others. So, if you want to install Kali Linux, then you must have at least a Core i3 or AMD E1 processor and 2GB of RAM and 20GB of disk space where the Kali Linux will be installed. Number 5. 
Parrot OS Parrot OS is yet another security oriented Debian variant that packs a collection of tools used for carrying out penetration tests, digital forensics, reverse engineering, and cryptography. Parrot Security OS is a lightweight when compared to Kali Linux because it has made as its default desktop environment and Kali Linux has Genome. If you are willing to install Parrot OS, then you must have minimum of dual core 1 GHz of CPU power, 320 MB RAM and 16 GB of disk space where the Parrot OS will be installed. So these were some popular Debian based distros. Now let's talk about Red Hat based distros. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a hugely popular enterprise level operating system that sports a diverse range of open source technologies such as Ansible Automation, Hybrid Cloud, Virtualization and Containerization. So number 6 Red Hat Enterprise Linux Red Hat Enterprise Linux is designed to meet the needs of the hybrid cloud environment. It can be deployed on physical infrastructure as a guest operating system on supported hypervisors in public cloud environment as well as containers using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux UBI. If you want to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux, then you must have a minimum of 1 GHz of processing power, 1 GB RAM and 10 GB disk space where the Red Hat Enterprise Linux will be installed. CentOS is a free and open source community developed Linux distribution that provides an enterprise level computing platform. Initially released in 2004, CentOS is an excellent free alternative to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system. It comes recommended for the users or small businesses that want to set up a server for file sharing, web hosting and other enterprise level tasks. If you want to install CentOS, then you must have at least 1.1 GHz of processing power, 1 GB RAM and 10 GB hard disk space where the CentOS will be installed. Number 8. Fedora Fedora is the upstream community distribution for Red Hat Linux. Its general purpose distribution developed and maintained by the Fedora project which is Red Hat sponsored. It has a massive community and is mostly used for developers as a hub for developing and testing software packages before they are made available to Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS. If you want to install Fedora, then you must have a minimum of 400 MHz of processing power, 256 MB RAM and 7 GB hard disk space where the Red Hat Enterprise Linux will be installed. Number 9. Alma Linux Alma Linux is yet another sent OS 8 alternative. It's 1 ratio 1 binary compatible with Red Hat Linux and was originally developed by Cloud Linux to fill in the gap left by sudden discontinuation of sent OS 8. It's completely free and open source and is currently community developed. If you want to install Alma Linux, then you must have a minimum of 1.1 GHz of CPU power, 1 GB RAM and 15 GB disk space where the Alma Linux will be deployed. Number 10. Here is the one more and last distribution which every Linux user should know and that is Arch Linux. Arch Linux is an independent distribution of Linux. Arch Linux is one of the most straightforward operating systems of Linux. Also, you can customize it according to your needs and it is very easy to do. 
Therefore, it is very convenient to have Arch Linux, especially for beginners. Your computer should have at least 512 MB of RAM and 1 GB hard disk space for the minimal installation of Arch Linux. So this was our today's tutorial in which we have learned in details about top 10 Linux distros. So see you in the next video. Thank you so much.